Okay. Uh, we're here. What's up, guys? My computer froze for a second. At least the one streaming. It's back up now. That was scary. I thought I'd have to restart the computer, but it uh, it came back. We're back. I haven't played this game in a couple days. I'm trying to remember what I was doing. Eep, I heard a screech and almost jumped. I'm sorry about that. I think that was Adobe Audition launching. Yeah, that was the computer freezing for a second. It doesn't do that often. It does that, like, very, very rarely. But, you know, there's probably a bad part on there somewhere. But I'll fix it. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, I used two PCs. Yep, using two PCs makes it better. It's a better experience when you're streaming PC games and stuff. There's two reasons. One is what I just said, and the second one, I built a new computer and I was like, eh, I don't feel like throwing out the other one, so I might as well use it as a second PC. Streamline stuff. There's obviously stuff wrong with the old one, but it still works pretty well. So, like, I remember before when I was streaming Final Fantasy XIV, uh, the frame rate would kind of uh, fluctuate a lot because, obviously, OBS uses a bit of the CPU, and fourteen is kind of a demanding game. So, yeah. That's a pretty good CPU. Yeah, I built the computer that I use for gaming right now. Uh, I built it... At this point, it's like last year, like in October or November or something. Uh, I put an i9 in there. I The i9 9900K, and I have a GTX 1080 in there that I that was in the old computer. The old computer is running on integrated video right now. I really need to put a, a like some kind of video card in there. That's probably why I froze a little bit, to be honest. But yeah. I think I was just trying to get through this uh, volcano place. Oh, you know what? I wanted to grind, but then I tried to grind, and I was like, you know what? Dual battles is not a good way to grind. Yeah. Realistically, I could probably get away with using the new PC as, like, a single stream PC. You know, stream and game on it, but I figured it's probably a good idea. You know, just, just from a learning perspective like learn how to dual stream or dual pc stream and stuff which uh i gotta say it's since i figured out how to do it it's been really useful but honestly for the regular person it's way more of a hassle than it's worth to be honest the way you have to set up both computers into a mixer and everything to get everything you know up and running sound wise so for example Let's say I have Jordan or, or another, or you on as a guest. Uh, the audio that you guys like when you guys speak, that's going through the mixer and that's on the stream computer. Whereas all the game audio is coming from the gaming PC. So like, that's a big thing. It, it, was, it was hard to set up. I'd probably struggle to set it up again, but uh, you know, it was fun. It was fun setting it up to be honest figuring stuff out. But since I do have it figured out, it's actually been pretty useful. I There's even a program that I found, and this program I actually found like literally like maybe four or five days ago. It's a program called Mouse Without Borders. So basically I can use the same mouse and keyboard between both computers using Wi-Fi. It's amazing. So like, I've got my mouse moving stuff around here, doing this stuff. That's a streaming computer. Then over here is my mouse from my other computer. So like, same same thing, kind of cool. I didn't know that existed. That made my life so easy because before I had like a literal hardware switch that I have to press a button to get it to switch to the other computer. And there was a delay with that because obviously USB is slow and Windows is slow with that aspect so yeah 
I'm, I'm very happy about that. I just remembered I'm kind of under leveled here. Look at that. Also, Crooked Dial is not very tanky. Uh, let's see if I can get away with using little Pharaoh Seed. No, oh, no, the Confuse. That's the worst. I've also got Lemonade. I freaking love Lemonade. I want to start going hard on Pokemon. I kind of want to finish this. Like the whole marathon thing. I've got a lot, a long way to go. But uh, I, I should, you know, grind here. Did the ingrain go through? I didn't even notice. Yeah, I already have it up. Okay. That was, that was smart. I need to find like a leftovers or something to give Pharaoh seed. Yeah, you won. Good job, little guy. Garmanitan. Nope, that's that's a swap for sure. Um. I just realized I don't have a sixth Pokemon. I need to get a sixth Pokemon. It did so much damage, dude. Things are starting to get difficult here. Mountain power. Excadrill, Steel Ground, uh, wait, better just to stay as quick as that, huh? Spunky could, let's give Spunky a shot. He's got Flamethrower now. Oh, I forgot about that. Uh-oh. Hold on, that wasn't so bad. The Intimidate helped a lot. Oh, that's a death and L. Damn. Spunky needs some more power. We need to evolve him, but he needs more, uh... He just needs a couple more levels to learn stuff before I can evolve him. Ground defeats Steel, right? Oh, but the the grass counters it. Okay, cool. I need to teach like toxic or something the Pharaoh seed. Oh, that might be a KO. 
Oh, cool. Those guys getting better and better. Poor little Spunky. Let me move him to the front. He needs more chances to get stronger. It's funny thinking about how like, these two Pokemon out in the wild would just like kind of team up like this. What's up, lady? Yeah, day 71. We've been doing this for a while. I want, I'm i wondering if this is going to end up being longer than the Zelda one. Because we reached like 80 or something for the Zelda one. I think we are, because there's two Pokemon games left. Two Gen 3 Pokemon. Okay, so one of them has Earth Power. They countered for Spunky. They both had round moves. Wrecked. Poor little Spunky. Can't catch a break. He's at the point in the game where, like, being a pre-evolved Pokemon is really, really a detriment to him. I've got to grind him out somewhere easier. Spunky got a mega oof, yeah. Uh oh, that's a big no no for for Pharaoh Seed. Oh shit. Fuck it, he's. Pin missile. Maybe, maybe we'll forget that we're here. Uh oh. Yeah, finish him off. I think two more levels for the evolution. Self destroy? No, hell no, hell no. If you're a trainer that uses self destruct, you're a dick. Why would you make your Pokemon explode? Excuse me. <laughs> Do you make your Pokemon self-destruct? Do you? I'm disappointed. You gotta give your Pokemon love, not make them explode. Well, I must be a dick. What? Why are these, these people exploding there? Why would you do that? Don't explode your Pokemon. This is this is a public service announcement. Your Pokemon have feelings. Don't make them explode. Please. 
think about their feelings. He explodes next to my ghost types and don't. That's actually a good strategy, but don't explode your Pokemon. That shit must hurt. And shit. Mushar is dead. Pharaoh Seed's like, I'm good. This camera up just needs to do one. Just just one fire attack and this Pharaoh Seed's done. You know what else hurts? 100 percent critical Draco Meteor from Kingdra. I think I remember you doing that to me. Oof, that was a big oof. I exploded my Electro because it was a last resort when I had two Pokemon left compared to the Champion's last Pokemon on half HP. I pretty much had no choice. Don't explode your Pokemon. I'd probably be the kind of trainer just be like, No, you know what? I give up. Hold on. Let me take my Pokemon home. <laughs> I'd be like Ash. I'd be a bad trainer. <laughs> Basically, building the computer do all the work for me. That's what I'm saying. Like, if Pokemon was a real thing, I wouldn't be a trainer. I'd probably be a professor or something. Just because... Dude, I don't want to make these cute little guys fight. I'd either be like a, like a professor or some kind of breeder or something. I don't know, man. I'm not... I'm not gonna... No, 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 no. I'm not gonna be fighting Pokemon in real life. Twitch took forever to accept your new email. To nice! Statlin, you gotta do some kind of takedown or something, dude. This thing's just getting more and more pumped. Oh, I love them. Those are the ones you have on the Discord, right? I like those emotes. Your OC. Yeah, yeah. I recognize it. I find it hilarious that that camera up did not target Pharaoh Seed not even once. It had the power to do 4x damage. Some ace trainers these are. I'd definitely be a gym leader, maybe a dark type gym leader since there still hasn't been a dark type gym to this day. Really? Huh. That can't be right. No dark type gyms? I, I'm trying to remember the gym leaders that I've fought so far, but... I've fought in so much at this point, like, it's kind of a blur. <laughs> right? I feel like there were. I don't know. I feel like there's w there was one. The Kahunas. Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, 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 uh... Yeah, 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 yeah. In Sun and Moon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do they really count as gym leaders, though? Do they count? Dead end. Okay. Let's keep going this way. I mean, there are no gyms in Sun and Moon, so I guess they don't really count as gym leaders. Though they fill a very similar role. I guess it's up to the person to uh, to really kind of determine whether or not they count or not. 
I don't know. I can't say for sure. They fill the same role. But technically they're not. They don't have gyms. Well, Peter doesn't put him in gym leader page. Yeah, it makes sense. They they don't. There's no gyms. They fill the same role, though. So, it's a matter of perspective, I guess. next year. Where are we anyway? So we're in Undella Town. Oh, we're, we're like in the post-game area of, uh, of the first, uh, first game. We need to head over here. I have the option to go here, maybe? The White Forest? I don't know. Umilau City. I guess we'll see where the game lets me go. Oh yeah, back to the vending machine. More lemonade. Which is funny because I actually have lemonade today. Ah. Go to the dragon gym? Cool. I will go to the dragon gym. I need an ice type Pokemon or something. Or ice moves. Or dragon moves or something. I don't know. I need to get somebody in the sixth spot. It really feels like it, I have a hard time actually ever getting a sixth member. I think it's kind of a recurring thing. Oh, bonus lemonade. I'm not even counting these. I'm just mashing the A button until I feel like it's enough. It'll go on until I have like 9,500 left. 95,000 Poke Dollars left. Have you ever looked at the Poke Dollar symbol and thought like, that looks like a little dinosaur or something? You see the little head, the little arms and legs and the little tail? I mean, that's what I thought as a kid, seeing the Poké Dollar symbol. Like, oh my god, it's dinosaur money. Alright, we're good. What's through here? No, we we a roadblock again. Okay. Well, screw you, buddy. I'm not coming back. You weren't open when I came, so you don't get it. You, you don't get another chance. This is the houses here. Maybe we can get a TM or something. This villa belongs to Caitlyn, one of the Pokemon League's Elite Four. Have I fought Caitlyn? Must be a new Elite Mem Elite Four member or something. Right, names the ring a bell. Though, I do remember coming through here and getting my ass handed to me by Cynthia because she was some, for some reason here. No, I fought her? Okay. There goes the show. Uh, oh, it's you. This, oh, the psychic one. Was she the one that was sleeping? She's probably one of the more forgettable ones, to be honest. I don't know. I thought the Elite Four was kind of forgettable in this game. But you know what's not forgettable? I like Hugh. He was cool. Oh yeah, I'm under level. When the rival has higher level Pokemon than you, you're 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 under level.
All right, that's all you, Splunky. Look at this big old snake. I honestly think the Elite Four Pokemon X and Y are the most Yeah, they're pretty forgettable too. I don't even remember what I don't even remember them. Here, Spunky, take some lemonade. I think I'm more than that, huh? Only twenty, huh? Two can play at that team. Go. Remember Gen 5s more than 6s? I mean, to be fair, it's been a long time since I've played X and Y, so. I haven't beat Sun and Moon, so. I haven't even seen the Elite Four for Sun and Moon. I got really far, and I just stopped playing. I don't remember why. Sun and Moon is boring. Is it? I, I enjoyed my time in it. But I get a lot of people uh, didn't enjoy it as much as the other ones, but I enjoyed it. Well, I can't really say any more than that because I didn't beat it. I don't know how the post game is or anything. Shit. Spunky's just too weak, dude. I'm going to attack him. She's going to attack me back. Uh, I'm just going to swap over to uh, Pharaoh Seed. Oh my god, you just killed yourself. What's Funky's nature? I forget. I think it's a nature that doesn't... One of those natures that uh, doesn't change the, the stats at all. Semi-seer. Okay, we want... Revolver for that. I just got an ad about the Geico mascot snapping his fingers to get people car insurance. Yeah, I've already seen a meme of that, people giving him the, the Thanos glove. And the, the caption for like the meme was like, why 15% savings when you can save 50% and he has like the Thanos glove going like this. It's like hilarious. Encore, hell no. Even, yeah, I know. I can't wait. I'm going to go see it on Tuesday, probably. I don't want to see it on, on the, this weekend just because it's going to be so packed. It's like, ugh. I don't like being around a lot of people at once. Like, it just gives me anxiety. Plus, every time I go to see a movie on opening day, I get a shitty-ass seat. Hopefully you can go see it. If you live by me, I'd take you with me. Oh yeah, Surf, don't I? Surf. Let's go to a new land. That was quick. <laughs> that was... Anticlimactic. I expected to, to be at sea for a long time.
Don't confuse me. No. Oh god. No, just swap. Poor Spunky. I need to grind him up. Yeah, I don't have an EXP share. I would totally give him an EXP share. <laughs> I really want Peter Parker to say, Mr. Stark, I feel so good. <laughs> That'd be great. It became such a huge meme. Castelia City, you can find one. You need to go to the Battle Company building and head to the top floor. Battle the old guy in the corner. After beating him, he'll give you an XP share. Huh. That was a long time ago, though. That's like five or six cities away. <laughs> time to go back, maybe. I do need to get Spunky level 45 before I evolve him. I gotta learn that Flare Blitz, man. What do you guys think about X and Y? I really enjoyed X and Y, though. A lot of people didn't like it from what I heard because they played it too safe or something, but... I don't know. I really enjoyed it. Boring? Gotcha. Reese's? Oh man, I'd, I'd go for some Reese's pieces. God damn it, Spunky. Don't fall for that hoe! God damn it. Spunky's thing with your freaking dick. Gen 5 is my favorite for a reason. It was prime. Yeah, no, I, I definitely see what you're talking about. Definitely see it. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, uh, Sword and Shield be real good. Oh, this is amazing. This is amazing right here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I love it. Every hit gets the, the iron barbs. That's right. Keep hitting me. Keep hitting me. You know what I didn't like about X and Y? Like, that you had like three or four rivals and they were all just terrible. I hated them. All of them. I just wanted... Like, every time they showed up, we like, Get lost, losers! I'm trying to be a Pokemon master. I don't know, man. I didn't like them at all. Ding. Oh, I think we're getting Ferrothorn. Oh, yeah. What? Ferrothorn evolving. The fact that this little guy separates into tiny little pieces to get reconstructors of Pokemon greatly disturbs me. X Men was good. It's just a plot that wasn't good compared to Black and White. Yeah. Power Whip. Oh man, that'd be good too. A Rocky Helmet. What does Power Whip do? It's Grass type. Cool, cool. Oh man, 120 power. The user violently whirls its vines or tentacles to harshly lash the target. I will take that. I will get rid of Pin Missile. Or sh no, yeah, Pin Missile. Pin Missile hasn't been doing me any favors. Do I have a Rocky Helmet? I don't think I do. Nope. 
No Rocky Helmets here. I think I had one in the previous game. Either way, I'm taking away this uh, lucky egg and I'm giving it to Spunky. Spunky needs it more right now. At least we can get more XP. What's in the grass here? We need a sixth member. Be back. All right. See you in a bit. Girder. Oh my god, this mutant cloud. Cloud? Uh, clown Pokemon. What disturbs me about this Pokemon is the cl clown nose and the weird looking veins on it. I'm missing flying type moves. How's its special defense? Okay, that works for me. Oh god, why is it no rock slide? Damn it. Oh, you survived. Hear yourself. Chug this lemonade. I'll do the same. Yeah, look at it. It's like this freakish Pokemon. What a freak. I love it. I love that it's so freaky looking, but... God damn it, it's freaky. It's got clown nose, it's got a weird lumpy head. I don't know if that's hair or, or, or just its head is lumpy. It's got these weirdo, weird veins on its arms and stuff. Like, that thing disturbs me. Oh no, triple battle. Ew. Don't do it. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I played Pokemon Black, Randomizer, and I got Gengar as a starter and an Abra, only to realize the first gym was dark. That sucks. That sucks, dude. I need to do a randomizer on this street on uh on my channel one day. It'll happen, but not for a while just because I've been playing so much Pokemon. To be frank, I am uh I'm burnt out on Pokemon. But I gotta I gotta keep going. Isn't this guy part ground? Or is it ice? I think it was ground flying or something. Oh god, don't kill me. Damn, sorry, Revolver. Nice crit. Nice ding. I 
just throw Crocodile in here. What does Retaliate do again? Oh, that's gonna be huge here. Nice. I never get lucky with randomizer, especially my platinum randomizer when I got a Dragonite as a starter, along with a Pidgeotto only to have the first gym to be I that oh my god. <laughs> it's almost poetic. Yeah, I've never played a randomizer. I do remember really enjoying watching one on YouTube a few years ago. Uh, I don't know if you guys know Pro Jared. I remember he had like a fire red leaf green one, and that was great. Like, if I would do a randomizer, it'd probably be, like, fire red and leaf green. Because, just because that generation, like, Gen 1, like, that's where I'm most proficient, I guess. If you consider playing a randomizer, I, yeah, it's going to be great. It won't happen for a while. I, I'm just saying, it's not going to happen for a long time. I like PBG's Leaf Cream uh, randomizer. I haven't seen that one. gonna hurt so bad. Oh, not so bad. Oh yeah, it's a special attack and uh Zeb Striker is primarily physical attack. Maybe he'd be here for a while. Uh... No, no. Purple Rodri also did a randomizer three times, and he's really smart when it comes to knock blocks. I'd recommend him. Yeah, I've heard of him. I haven't seen his randomizers, though, so I might try that. Well, first, I want to... First, I want to do this. Uh, 
I wonder how this will do. Damn. Uh, okay. That sucks. Well, I can kind of outlast them, I think. Damn. Take that! Ha! Don't know why, but my Wi-Fi is acting pretty horrible. How close are you to the uh, access point or router, whatever you're, whatever you're getting your Wi-Fi from? right in front of it. Hmm. Anybody else using the Wi-Fi in your house? Maybe they're downloading lots of stuff. No, that's the thing. You wouldn't know. <laughs> yeah, there could be a lot of things going on, though. Nice. And now it works as soon as I mention it. <laughs> This is a ghost flying. Is this a good Pokemon? I really need to add a sixth member. Crunch. Hell yeah, I'm gonna learn crunch. Uh, let's get, get rid of this. Actually, reversal's pretty garbage. It's been pretty garbage. Now we got a crunch. We got a dark type move. Whoa, what the heck? Hello? Today we're dancing for no reason. Someday we'll disappear for no reason. Okay. They're getting kind of lazy now. With the roadblocks. <laughs> wow.
Like, I know this is not where I'm supposed to be going, but, you know, I fought a few trainers. Excuse me. Hiccups. Let me drink some lemonade. I'm running low on lemonade. I'm sad. I do have a Firestone, but I'm waiting to get to level 45 so that Growlithe learns uh, all the moves that he needs to learn. Because when he becomes Arcanine, his learn pull literally stops. <laughs> I, will, I want him to learn Flare Blitz. Problem is, if you, if you evolve a Growlithe too early, he'll lose out on a lot of moves that he would have only learned as a Growlithe. So. That's just the way it is. Hello? Girder. Dancing people logic. Instead of letting you pass, we'll just block your path so you defeat the next gym. I know. Like, if this was real life, be like, get the frick out of my way. Like, I'd push people and shit. Pokemon do we have here? I need a six member real badly. I need something to counter the dragon type gym. Hey look, Absol. They say Absol only appear when when something bad's gonna happen. I don't like the feel of that. I don't have any counters to fighting types either. Don't have any psychic type moves, and I don't have any flying type moves. Oh god. I know the power of that move. Jeez. Could take this guy out. Not crooked dial. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
Hey, what are you doing? I just got a YouTube live stream notification about a Pokemon Platinum Randomizer Nuzlocke someone's playing. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Crunch will probably do more damage, right? Damn fake out. I hate fake out. Oh no, this one's a hoe too. That's so strangely timed since we were just talking about it. Well, speak of the devil. What kind of logic is it that Pokemon singing makes other things fall asleep? Oh god, this one's... This Delcaddy's a slut! Now Revolver's gonna wake up with a heart on singing it means but I that's the way I kind of rationalize it too but I don't know dude I don't know if you can get ASMR if you have your trainer yelling behind you wake up <laughs> you know oh my god this is the worst. This is literally the worst. This revolver just keeps falling asleep, waking up with more bruises than last time. And also with a heart on. Come on, dude. Oh my god. Revolver has a huge hard on for this Delcaddy. Dude, at this point, I just be like, Revolver just mounted. This, this is just not going to do. I think I should bring out Spunky again. No, I didn't want to run. God damn it. I'm not dealing. Oh god, it's asleep too. This battle is literally the worst.
This is the worst. Just, I'm getting another Pokemon out here. Fuck it, Crocodile, just destroy this thing. Oh my god, stop! This Del Caddy is the worst! <laughs> Come on! Stop! Are all my Pokemon asleep right now? Well, not. Well, revolvers. They're probably being awake. God damn it! This Delcady's a hoe. Go, go, go. Anything. Yes! Crunch that shit. No! I don't want to use my full heals for these. Oh my god. I need to go back to the Pokemon Center after this. Don't you dare use Attract. Just go, go through, please. Oh my god. I hate this Del Caddy. <laughs> wow, man. This is the strat. This is how you beat the game. You just attract, then sing, and just slap it to death. This is the counter. It doesn't matter. Once you start using the slaps on this thing, it doesn't matter if this Ferrothorn's horny or whatnot, or asleep. The minute it starts slapping, that iron barb is gonna fuck it up. How the hell could this thing be attracted to Delcaddy? It has no dick! It's a freaking bean with spikes on it. They need to nerf, uh, attract in this game. I have not been able to get through it. Finally, Jesus. Get out of here. Fuck you, Del Getty. Electric. Six hundred years later, I know. Dang. Fuck that trainer. Fuck you.
Attract is one of those secretly underrated moves to use. I don't remember it like being like 99% effective against preventing a Pokemon to attack. It was like 50% or something. I must have some horrible luck or they buffed it in this or something. I don't know. That battle felt it was like like it was like 30 minutes, dude. <clears throat> it's over here. Hello. They only slightly nerf it in X and Y. I see. What the f- Why do you have Hydro Pump? Ah! God damn it. Why do you have Fire Blast? What the fuck? That- that Ferrothorn's dead. What the fuck? These trainers are really getting on my nerves now. Having their their weird move sets and stuff. Ding. Five more levels and Smokey can evolve. Test. Test. If it wasn't for, uh, Pharaoh Thorn's super godly defense, it would be dead. Eighteen second delay on my end. Oh yeah, you're on mobile, right? You're on a, on a phone? Yeah, the delay on that is notoriously high. It sucks. I really wish they'd fix it. Yes, I need you, sir. Yeah, until my laptops get fixed, I'm stuck on mobile. What happened to your laptop? Won't even turn on if I charge it. Ah, uh, that doesn't sound good.
and using cut. Fuck that. Hey, look. Uh, Cobra Lion, right? I already have a Cobra Lion. I caught them in, uh... The, uh... Omega Ruby game. Funky, you're so fragile. Another test. All these triple battles, I hate it. I hate it, I hate it. Oh, I hate it. Twenty four cheeks, that's a lot. That's a lot. I wish the Larvesta line didn't evolve so late because Bug Fire seems like a real good type to have. Oh, it's not flying type yet. That shouldn't do much. I'm surprised it's neutral against water type.
kind of Pokemon are around here? Give me a Dragon Pokemon. I'd love that. Nice. Oh, shit. Ooh. Hello. Oh, shit, should I save? Oh god. Damn. Poor Spunky. What the? Oh shit. Is it because of ingrain? Did I just fuck myself? Reset. Uh, how do I reset again? Is how do I re how do I reset again? Select start. Oh, okay. There we go. Let's try that one more time, cause that uh, that could have gone better. I need I need to start off with like uh, Ampharos. Paralyzed. I 
don't use ingrain this time. Actually, go back to Spunky. Let him let him do a flamethrower. Yeah, that intimidate. Just raise the fence on this one, but don't use ingrain because that'll lock in. We'll wear it down with that red HP. Might as well start throwing just regular Pokeballs. No, I didn't want to do that. I want to... Ultra Ball. Hey. Don't be a bitch. But a great ball. Damn. So close. Why? Why you gotta be like this? Why you gotta be like this? Alright, now I gotta switch out. Why you gotta be like this? Get in the ball. There's really no pressure. I already have one of these from Omega Ruby, but hey, why not too? I'm not gonna master ball it. Don't be a bitch.
Hey, hey, hey. Come on. Yeah, I saved. Yeah, I can skip him. If I don't get it on this try, I'm just gonna give up because I already have him. Come on, be nice. Come on, don't you want to have a brother? I got another one of you. You guys can frolic. Don't you want to have a brother? Or a sister? I don't know. You guys don't have a gender, apparently. Listen, Cobra Line, I just want you to know I have a Master Ball. I can make you come if you want, so come nicely. That's what I like to hear. He got he got the he got the message. Kobolion, the Iron Will Pokemon, steel fighting. As a body of heart a body and heart of steel, it worked with its allies to punish people when they heard Pokemon. You think Kobolion will like people that make their Pokemon use self destruct? <laughs> Just food for thought. No, I just caught him because he's a legendary. I don't like using legendaries on my team. Plus, I already have a steel grass. Or is this or is it steel fighting? It's still grass, right? No, it's still fighting. Okay. Yeah. Still no. Lacunosa Town. Hi there, Gutsy. What's up? Hee <laughs> hee. I used fly, so it looks like I beat you here. Did you? Did you really? Thanks for your help in Reversal Mountain. If you go straight past Lacunosa Town, you'll reach Opelucid City. But before you go, there's something I want you two to hear. What is it? You'll know soon, soon enough. Hurry now. Just tell me. You must be the ones who want to hear that old tale about Lakunosa Town. That's right, please tell us. Alright, my dearies, please come in. Or, anytime I, I see, like, my dearies, I just imagine the witch from, uh, 
the Wizard of Oz. All right, my dearies. <laughs> Behind Lakunosa Town, there's a mighty big hole. Have you heard of the giant chasm? Yes. Oh, I've heard about that around the giant chasm. There have been brief temperature readings of negative 58 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, it's pretty cool. There's a dragon ice type there. That's what Sharon told me anyway. The road is blocked, so we can't get there right now. That's okay, I already got that Pokemon. A long, long time ago, the giant chasm was created when a big meteorite fell from the sky. A really scary Pokemon was hidden inside that meteorite. A meteorite. When darkness falls over the land, this Pokemon appears. A frigid wind follows it. It freezes everything around and eats people and poke. Whoa, that's scary. That's why everyone was afraid. The Pokemon ate p people? So our ancestors surrounded the, uh, the town with walls to prevent the Pokemon from getting inside the town. Also, a rule was made forbidding anyone to go outside after dark. And that's the end of the old tale. A fascinating story. I'll add it to my research records. Everyone, we should be going. I had to check your trash. <laughs> I check everybody's trash. Nobody likes Pokemon that eats people. I mean... It's gotta eat, right? And it likes people. What can you... I don't know. It likes people. <laughs> Wasn't that an interesting folktale? The Pokemon's true identity may be unknown, but the power mentioned in the story is incredible. I know. The power to freeze everything around it could even rival the power of the legendary dragon-type Pokemon. Yes, Bianca. It's almost like Reshiram who scorched Unova with a blazing fire long ago. By the way, Gutsy, do you remember the story of Reshiram? Sure. So you remember I told you a little about it in Lentimus Town. Reshiram is a legendary dragon-type Pokemon that lends its power to the person it recognizes as a hero who seeks truth. It has a white body, and it can send forth ferocious flames. Professor, do you think there's a connection between the Pokemon from the old story and the legendary dragon-type Pokemon? The Meteorite. The Meteorite? Reshiram was revived from a rock called the Lightstone. Let's suppose the meteorite from the story and the stone are one and the same. Take into account the elements that elements from the same era were found in the Dragon Spiral Tower, where Reshiram was, and in the Giant Chasm. It doesn't prove anything, but it could be a piece of the puzzle. Let's not write it off as a coincidence just yet. If your theories are true, it could be a really strong Pokemon. What kind of reason would there be for it to come out only at night? Like, if, if like it doesn't like sunlight... Oh my god... One, two, three, four. We have four likes in this sentence. Bianca, you're trying to be a professor. Get your shit together. <laughs> like, if, like, it doesn't like sunlight or something like that. Until we look into it more deeply, it would be hard to say anything about that. Now that I think about it, the same, the name Lakunosa could be derived from Lakunosa's clouds, which are clouds that resemble a net or fence. I wonder if the name is related to the part of the story where they built the walls to protect the town from that Pokemon. Sorry, I rambled on a bit, didn't I? Gutsy, could you ask Drayden about this if you get a chance? I'm gonna do a little field work. Bianca, help out, okay? Sure thing. Oh, just so you know, Opelucid City's mayor, Drayden, wrestles with his Pokemon that- oh, he wrestles dragons. That's gnarly. Professor Juniper, wait up! Bye-bye. Where's the Pokemon Center? Did this place tag not have a Pokemon Center? Oh, it's right there. There's a vending machine here. Honestly, that'd be pretty scary to see a Pokemon eat a person. I mean... Animals eat people in real life, too. It's not something... Not something that's new. We may be at the top of the food chain because of intellect and weapons and whatnot, but there are a lot of animals that could eat us. We got bears, 
lions, tigers, sharks. Well, sharks don't eat people, but they bite us. They don't like the taste of people, apparently. But they'll give you a little nibble, just be, just to see if you taste good. <laughs> it's huge. Uh, huge snakes will eat people, I think. Oh, for crying out loud, this is troublesome indeed, my curious trainers. Perhaps I should satiate your curiosity somewhat. The reason I am still part of Team Plasma is this. I want to know how the world will change. Listen, Pokemon are nature. Pokeballs are civilization. Humans who are used to civilization don't relinquish it easily. Of course, both nature and civilization are important. But what will happen to a world taken over by Team Plasma? People will be forced to throw out Pokeballs, a product of civilization. And I want to know what that looks like, and I want to enjoy it. This guy's crazy. Shut your mouth. All I want is to get back a stolen Pokemon. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Just to let you know, you're about to- Oh my god. <laughs> Here he goes, like, going edgelord again. You're about to feel my rage. Oh, right. Did I not revive? Oh, no, I just didn't. Fuck, I wanted Spunky out. Come here, Spunky. Honestly, I think Superior is the better Pokemon than, uh... Uh... Revolver. I forget his name. His actual Pokemon name. Samurott, right. I like Superior better. Samurott's been a little bit underwhelming so far. Oh god. Superior's name already hints it's a superior starter. True that. Ding. Four more levels for Arcanine. Heat Wave, hell yeah. Let's see. Heat Wave is 100 damage, 90 accuracy. How much is Flamethrower? 95. Yeah, I'll take that. And it's special. Excuse me. I get gassy sometimes. Oh, it, it attacks. That's cool. It attacks both, uh, both targets. Garb Garboder. Dude, I love this bug one. It's just a pile of garbage. Freaking love it. Why would you use that on a poison type? Weak armor. No, not Spunky. God damn it. Oh, God, you're still, you're still alive. Good. Here, chug this lemonade.
What's with these two? I'm battling alongside Zinzelin. This shouldn't be happening. These trainers remind me of that one from two years ago. More important, we must continue our search. Like that scientist said, it might be an open lucid city. We'll play with you again later. Get back here! Parlay Garbage just sat on Spunky. He must think now. You okay, Spunky? He says he's okay. What kind of Pokemon we're we gonna find here? Green Shard. Oh, this guy. This guy just started climbing mountains. What the crap? Tranquil. I just, whenever I see the emoji, I just imagine Tranquil using its, like, talons there. Like, it just lifts up a talon and it's just like... I, I don't know. This seems funny to me. Yo, that guy just climbs mountains like it's nothing. Hey, Wakabe. What's up, dude? Here we go again. <laughs> I could probably grind a little bit here and get Spunky to 45. Let me give him a, a super potion first. This guy just... Oh, I guess I can climb too. For some reason, it didn't let me before. Heracross? I had one of these back in Gen 2. Heat wave. Oh god. Survive. Uh, oh, good job. Good job, Spunk. Heat wave. Oh wow, Spunky. Spunky, my boy. My boy. I'm sorry, Fair Thorn. I'm a bad trainer. I made a mistake. This is also a mistake as well, but fuck it, I gotta do something. Moxie! Nice, three more levels. Eh. 
I need to get more lemonades. Crocodile is pretty awesome. Yeah, it's a cool looking Pokemon. But if you want my opinion, I, I think I prefer to Excadrill. Okay, cool. Oh, Heat Wave's gonna destroy these two, aren't they? Heat Wave. And then, I don't know, slash one of them. Heat Wave! Burn them all! Wow, really? I think that's right. Spunky's special attack is probably not that good. I don't want to get poisoned, but fuck it. Not revenge, just slash. Leo and Rio. Wish I had three uh, rare candies. I would totally use them right now. One of these is going to be one of those poisoned grass types, aren't they? Oh, Viagra. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's totally what happened. <laughs> the surprise Pikachu face for sure. Hey, yo, I just like I'm just going through this trainer like back and forth. I can't wait to see me some Avengers Endgame. I'm excited. <sighs> Girder freak of nature clown Pokemon thing. Viagra. I mean, it's PP up. It's Viagra. That's what that's what Viagra does. It makes your peepee -pee go up. I'm actually gonna switch out Pokemon for this. Main food. Come back, Spunky. What's the damage on Fire Fang? Not bad. I'll be seeing it next Monday after school, my friends. I'm planning to see it on Tuesday. Oh, God. survived uh revolver you bastard get ready for 182 minutes of superhero good stuff I gotta remember to use the bathroom before I even go to the theater. I'm staying clear of my sister since she tends to spoil movies. That sucks. I'm so sorry. I 
I don't like people that spoil stuff. She spoiled Infinity War for me last year, but not this year. Yeah, no. You stay clear of that. You stay, you stay clear of that person. Ten years of cinematic world building. And it's come to this. Don't let it happen. Timer ball. Okay. Anything else around here? Oh. Combi. This monkey destroy it. Burn it. Do it. Have you ever told you guys that I have two fears in life? Heights and anything that can sting. Like any any flying stinging insects. If I saw Combi in real life, I'd probably shit my pants. The three-headed freaking freak of a bee. I tried to ask for directions, but it turned out I was talking to a Pokemon trainer. You need to be careful, too. Avengers Endgame doesn't have a post credit. It doesn't? That's weird. Oh my god. That's weird. What exactly does Combi have to sting? I mean, I don't know. It's a B. It probably does. Maybe it has three stingers. I don't know. You don't see the stinger on a bee, but, you know, it could sting you. It, it, it does make sense, but it's like, it's going to feel weird not staying at the credits. I might do it anyway, just, just in case. I don't know. I don't know, man. <laughs> it's just a force of habit. And because of that, everybody kind of expects post credit scenes for, like, all movies now. It's kind of funny. Wait, wait. I've been waiting for this day. You're the 1,000th opponent. I've got a 999 win streak. Be my... Sure. Even though you're just a fledgling, you'll still be my 1,000th... 1,000th... Okay. English, no good. 1,000... Bleh. 1,000th. There we go. 1,000 win in a row. English, no bueno. English is my second language after all. I'm not scared of bugs, just looking at them makes me feel weird. Alright, this should be easy for Spunky. Yeah, uh, Spanish is my first language, though uh, it's not my primary language, I will say that. Outrage, hell yeah! Get out of here, retaliate. Lucario. <sighs> ha! Oh, look at that sweet, sweet EXP. You just got swept by a... By a Pokemon's not even evolved. Get wrecked, old man. I just broke your 999 win streak. 
I've steadily extended my win streak for two years and now it's over. But I have a strong will. I declare that I'll try again to have a 1,000 win streak. I won't battle you next time. <laughs> you just break my streak. <laughs> then what's the point? What's the point then? <laughs> Say slash, not a good matchup for Spunky. But you know who needs more EXP? Revolver. You freaking bastard digging. I wonder if Surf's gonna work. Dude, Surf should freaking drown this poor guy like that. The, water, the hole will fill up with water and he drowned. Come on. Post-credit scenes have been a staple of Marvel Cinematic Universe movies since 2008's Iron Man and with Nick Fury inviting Tony Stark. I remember I remember being in the theater for that, Waka Bay. I remember, I remember that. It was 10 years, 11 years ago at this point. I'm mostly going to see it to see if Ant-Man actually kills Thanos by going... Dude, I still haven't seen the Ant-Man movies, and I still haven't seen Doctor Strange. I said I was going to see it back when I was on vacation, and I never did. I need to do it. Oh my god. I'm such a procrastinator when it comes to movies. Big Pearl. That theory is pretty hilarious. I was expecting a... I was expecting a... What's the painter Pokemon again? Frick, I have one. It's so hard to remember 800 Pokemon names. It's like on the tip of my tongue, dude. Smurgle, there we go. Smurgle, thank you, Isaacer. I love them just unlocking more and more music for this area. Oh, Rare Candy. Hell yeah, dude. Isn't that spunky right away? Ha! Blair Blitz. Yes. That's a physical move, right? Yes. Fire Fang, goodbye. Spunky, you're about to reach your final form. Where's my fire stone? There we go. Let's go. My good little boy is becoming a big boy. Look at that good boy. Let's take a look at its stats.
So it has a... Oh yeah, so it does have a nature that lowers its special attack, but has good special defense. That's fine. Special attack is not that important. We we're we're banking on that uh, flare blitz. Good speed too. I'm overwhelmed by the length of that message. You get used to it. You get to used to it, Liddy. Walk up, it loves to type out messages. <laughs> Alright, let's... who needs to level up? Revolver, for sure. Carboos. Hello? Not a good matchup. Damn it. Also, my Pokemon are still underleveled. Spunky's the only one that's at the correct level. Uh, let's see. Grass is weak to flying and fire. Fuck it. Let's let's give Spunky. A, let's let's uh let him wreck shop here. Y'all look at him. Hell yeah, you're gonna be intimidated by my big old Spunky. Flare Blitz. Also, I've got Outrage now. I can probably take on Drayden with Spunky. Flare Blitz. Mmm, that felt good. And Revolver leveled up. Cool. Is there, like, an item you can give to Pokemon so they don't get damaged by recoil? What's up, Jordan? No? Okay. Has anyone ever noticed that GB is the only hand at one generation of Pokemon? If there was, it would be using all it for sure. That's what I like about, uh... What's that Pokemon's name? Uh... Shit. The one I use in Omega Ruby, the Steel Rock one. Fuck. What was his name? Man. Frick. Ag Agron. Agron. He has that ability. Where, like, he doesn't take recoil damage. That made him so freaking powerful. This guy's just been singing the whole time. I'm gonna go inside all the houses here. I feel like I I'm missing TMs and stuff by not talking to people. I never saw Thor Dark World in theaters, but I did see it uh, on Blu-ray. It was okay. I did enjoy the hell out of Ragnarok, though. And then the first Thor movie, I liked a lot, too. Dude, that heat... heat more? It's got a little dicks hanging... Look, look, look at that. Does it have two dicks? Like, what is that coming out of its crotch? Is that two dicks? Either way, take a drink.
I've got to give the lucky egg to somebody else. That sounds tasty. Did you see the Incredible Hulk in theaters? I did. Jordan saw it with me, too. We saw it when it first came out, back in 2008. Most people, the Game Boy Color is a different version of the original Game Boy, so that logic is true. Then Game Boy has Gen 1 and 2. GBA only has Gen 3, DS has Gen 4, 5, lastly 3DS has Gen 6 and 7. Switch doesn't count since Sword and Shield isn't out yet. I mean, I, I'd probably count Let's Go Pikachu as a Gen 7 game. Even though there's like no Gen 7 Pokemon. I mean... You got the, you got the Alolan forms, and then you got the, uh, the that legendary Pokemon. Uh, shit. Shit. I I'm forgetting, I'm forgetting the name of the legendary. Fuck the the Steel type. And I and I grinded for weeks to get it, and I already forgot its name. Oh my god. I think I'm just tired. I think that's what it is. Mel Metal. Meltan and Mel Metal. There we go. Yes, yes, yes. The Pokemon Let's Go games aren't mainline Pokemon games. I don't know, dude. They play similar enough. I I would count them, to be honest. I would count them. It just it, I feel I feel like it doesn't do enough different to be really a, uh, like a side game. You know what I mean? It it it's almost the same. Give me my mail time. I grinded for like eight weeks to get it. Was the Incredible Hulk good? I heard it was pretty meh. I mean, it's been so long and I've only ever seen it once. I liked it when I saw it. I enjoyed it. I didn't think it was meh. It's probably. To be honest, if I saw it now, it might be meh. Just because, you know, comic book movies have become way better since then. I do remember saying that Iron Man was better than it, though. Because those came out pretty close to each other, if I recall correctly. on a website say let's go aren't mainline games yeah people love to say that and it's they're probably right but i don't know man i like to count it it's literally just gen 1 but you know in the gen 7 engine To be honest, I preferred Iron Man 1 over Iron Man 2. I might be weird on that, but... Yeah, like, I, I kind of agree with Isaacer. Um, it I, I just feel like it doesn't, duff an, it doesn't do enough different to really be a side game, in my opinion, you know? It's pretty much a, a remake, just with a couple things that are different. This has the same premise, you know, the same story. Like, honestly, with that kind of uh, mentality, you can say Gen 1 is not, not a Pokemon game, you know? Or not a mainline Pokemon game either. What was wrong with Iron Man 2? Nothing was wrong with it. I just liked Iron Man 1 better. Guardians of the Galaxy is great, too. The funny thing is, my dad doesn't really like comic book movies at all. He liked Guardians of the Galaxy. He saw both of them. And I was like, man, that's weird for my dad to do. I 
Iron Man 3 squad. I never saw Iron Man 3. So, I can't comment on it. I also haven't seen Black Panther. I need to see that as well. That's three Marvel movies I need to see before... Uh, I need to do that this weekend, honestly. I'm running out of time. I need to see those three movies before the... Before Tuesday. Alright, that's it. That's enough lemonade. Do I have any lemonade left? Yep, just a little bit. Oh my god! I found Viagra! Hell yeah. Someone threw Viagra away, man. What the hell? Dude, these guys run fast when you run. Gardens of the Galaxy is pretty good. <laughs> Love that emote. Oh my god, it's a family. It's Papa and his two kids. Or maybe it's the mother, I don't know. No, it's Papa. It's a male. Uh, sorry, Spunky. I think you could survive this. No, it's not gonna do shit. Outrage. Just, just defense. <laughs> oh, shit. Most people say Iron Man 2 isn't as fresh as the first one. I don't know why the movie introduced War Machine and Black Widow. I liked it. I, I just liked Iron Man 1 better. I don't know. There's something about Iron Man 1 that I just really like. People and or fans expect too much from a sequel. Don't know. I don't really know what to say about that, but... Holy crap, I just found my old Xbox 360. Nice. Hopefully it still works. Have I ever told you guys this? My original Xbox 360. You guys are familiar with the Red Ring of Death thing that happened during that, that generation. Uh, I went through six of them. I had the Red Ring happen six times. And that taught me, always get the, ex the, the, the warranty or whatever on it. Buy the... Buy the service plan, whatever. Do it. Because that's the only way I was able to do it. It had it happen six times. My Xbox 360 red ringed six times. I went through six of them. Needless, needless to say. Needless to say. Uh, I went with PS4 next gen. I was like, I'm not dealing with that shit again. Fuck that. Crunch this baby up. Iron Tip Man 2 is my opinion definitely as fresh as Iron Man 2. Nobody's taking that away from you. Be proud. That's your favorite Iron Man movie? Be proud, dude. Just, uh, not everybody's gonna agree with you. And that's okay. Because they can't take that away from you. You love that movie and you'd be proud. I have a premium Xbox 360S, so I never experienced the Red Ring of Day. Must be nice.
<laughs> nice typo. I didn't even notice that. Moxie! You're good, dude. You're only human. I mean, lemon. I got 46 lemonades. Oh my god. I'm stuck. I actually really like the song in this area. I don't know why. It's I like it. I also need to watch Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. That was good. That was a good sequel. <laughs> There's a line from the end of that movie. I'm not going to say it, but... <laughs> it was so funny. I Oh my god, it was so funny. There's a line at the end of the movie. The, I'll, the only thing I'll just say, Mary Poppins. Just, just if you, when you see it, walk away, just remember Mary Poppins. That was my favorite line in that movie. Now we got a little uh, elect the buzz family. Okay, you'll know, you'll know when when it happens, Wakipe. You'll know. You'll know. He's the king of the party now. Everything is as it should be. Ding. Hell yeah. Take that, Derek. Suicide Squad 2 maybe adding John C. I saw that news today and I was just like, huh. But at the same time, I was just like, dude, screw that series. You can't see it. <laughs> oh, that meme. Oh, yeah, this house right here. I can heal my Pokemon. I never saw the first Suicide Squad, but I heard it was terrible. But if you like it, that's cool, dude. Imolga, I know like you.
slash the shit out of it. Hell yeah. Altaria. Flying dragon? No, I'll keep you in. You need HP. Uh-oh. So am I correct in saying that Samurott is probably the worst of the three starters in this generation? Because you can't go wrong with a fire fighting, and Superior was pretty good. It generally seems like Samurott is the least common denominator in this. Speaking of the Joker, Wakape, are you excited for the, the new Joker movie? That... That trailer for the Joaquin Phoenix uh, Joker movie seems pretty cool. I'm pretty excited for that. That seems like it's going to be a good movie. That trailer really spoke to me when I saw it. I haven't seen that Pokemon in a while. You're level 42 and you still haven't evolved that thing? Jesus. I didn't see Aquaman, but it definitely seemed like it was going to be good. And I, I think people really liked it. But I don't know. I've just... Because of... It's like almost hit and miss with the DC movies lately that I've just... I don't know, man. I, I kind of have lost faith in like their their universe, you know, like the DC Cinematic Universe, DCCU, is that what they're calling it? I don't know. Oh shit, that was a bad move, I forgot it's ground type too. Damn it. That's okay. You didn't watch Aquaman. I'll get to it, but right now my priority is the two Ant-Man movies, uh, Doctor Strange, and now Black Panther as well. DC EU. Oh, okay. I thought it was DC CU. You know what would be a, a really uh, annoying text tone? Palpitoad. Just put Palpitoad as your text sound. That's really annoying. People will hate you, and it would be amazing. I haven't seen Shazam. I need to see Shazam. That looked like it was going to be hilarious. And I heard that people liked it, too. Oh, it's suddenly nighttime, too. What's in this, uh... What's in this trailer? Hello? Yahoo! There's an awful lot of nothing around here, isn't there? Least yeah, no, you're right. They are improving. But I just... I don't know. I just don't feel convinced yet. And, like, it definitely doesn't help that, you know, Henry Cavill stopped being Superman. And then, uh... What's this other dude? Uh, ben Affleck decided not to be Batman anymore. Like, those are the biggest ones. That's like... That's like if Captain America... And Iron Man were just like, we're out. Looks like, oh shit. Can, can I, can I come back with Pokeballs? I didn't buy Pokeballs. Hold up, hold up. I'll, I'll, I'll be back. I'll, I'll be back, I'll be back. I need to get Pokeball. Oh no, you're one of those. Shit. It's always the breeders. 
They keep breeding new Pokemon to fight me with. Fuck. Freaking loved Henry Cavill. Meet Henry Cavill was an amazing Superman. I am not a Superman fan. Henry Cavill sold me. Man of Steel was great. I don't like Superman. I loved Man of Steel. That was a good movie. At least we're getting him as Geralt in the, the Witcher series, right? Hopefully that's good. I'm a huge Witcher fan. Why are you not a Superman fan? I've always thought he's a kind of a boring superhero. He's too vanilla, you know? Dark Knight was great. Did I watch the original Superman movie? Some of them, yeah. I haven't seen all of them. I saw some of the Christopher Reeves ones. I never saw Superman Returns. I heard that was terrible. But I've never... I, I've seen the Superman animated series. I saw... I think it was the 50s Superman cartoon. I've seen that. Saw a lot of Justice League as a kid. And I just... I don't know. I, just, I was never a fan of uh, Superman. He's just so vanilla. If that makes any sense. Dark Knight trilogy is amazing. I have... I have my cop like I have the whole trilogy on Blu-ray. It's still sealed. Like in its uh packaging. That should be enough. Should be enough for the rest of the game, to be honest. All three of those movies were great. I don't know if those movies can be topped, but I hope that they can. I expect it to be topped eventually. Yeah, because they did more with him. They did more with him in that movie, and I was like, man, this one sold me. I think we should have... We'll have Ampharos at the front of the team here. I'm so disappointed that the the DC extended universe is like not really been shaping up. I, I would argue that, uh, I would argue that, uh, they should start over. They should just, you know, start over. It's improving, but like without Henry Cavill and Ben Affleck, like what's gonna happen, you know? Like that's their big, that's their big two. I love the the actor playing Wonder Woman. I love the the actress playing Wonder Woman. I love the actor playing Aquaman. I like the one playing the Flash. But you lost your biggest ones, you know? Drain.
Don't kill it. Don't kill it. Good. A lot of fans didn't like that Superman killed Zod at the end of Man of Steel. I didn't... I see where fans were coming from, but I... I was okay with it. Perfect. I want a movie solely based on Robin and not... And no, not the Teen Titans movie. Robin or Nightwing? Spunky will not fall today, Verizion. Hey, Verizion. I, I can get a sister for you. Damn, dude, that, that's a lot of damage. Uh, no, I don't want to put Barrow Thorn in. Probably just Robin. I like Robin. I think he's underrated. Man, don't you want a sister? Jesus. in the ball. Come on. The way I see it, Superman made a choice to save a family at the cost of killing someone who was, you know, just bad. I mean... Superman's about protecting people, right? So, I, I mean, I feel like it doesn't stray outside of his character. Then again, I'm probably not the right person to, like, to give that kind of opinion, but, you know. Don't be a dick, Verizion. I mean, people get mad at that, but then they don't they don't say anything about Batman and, and Batman vs. Superman. Like, he killed all those freaking people. Don't tell me just because we didn't see it on screen. Batman freaking killed all those people. Batman killed all those people. And that's like Batman's thing. Like, don't kill people. Good stuff. Nobody bat an eye when Batman killed like a shit ton of people. Look, it's your brother. It's one of your brothers. Come on. Hey, convince, convince her to join our team. Come on. Convince her. I thought it was cool. I, I'm a huge Batman fan. Batman's my thing. Batman is my thing. Batman is my thing. I was okay with it. Some people just get butt hurt about everything. No, come on! I 
think you ran out of PP for everything else. I don't know. Start reviving Pokemon. There we go. Lower that attack, please. Come on. at a risky kind of thing right now if uh if this thing physically attacks me it'll die good 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 now we can just switch over <clears throat> Giga Drain. <clears throat> Come on, just be caught already, please. Just keep using Helping Hand. I wonder how many turns have to pass before the timer ball becomes like 100% catch rate or something. Is that possible? Is that a thing? Can enough turns pass for the timer ball to be like 100% catch rate? Stop increasing your health, goddammit. You're making it harder. Why? You have a move that won't do much. Probably this, right? God. Why you crit, you piece of shit? Mmm. I don't think I saved. Did I save? Let's find out. If I didn't save, I'm just gonna end the stream for today. So I just looked at the time and I'm like, fuck. This gives me memories of the Pokemon Black and White, Kyrim, and the Sword of Justice movie so much. You know, people don't... I, at least I don't see people talking about, about it a lot, but the Pokemon movies are pretty good. You can say what you will about the anime, but the movies are really good. Yeah, no, I didn't. I didn't save. All right, guys. You know what? Mending the stream for now. I'll try this again tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Again, like I said, I'll be back at the same time as yesterday. The same as yesterday. The same time as today, tomorrow, to continue playing Pokemon. We'll catch this guy. But uh, uh, it's getting kind of late. I need to, I need to stop. Uh, anyway, again, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate all you being here. Uh, I didn't. I didn't feel as burnt out playing this today, so hopefully that continues because I've been burnt out on Pokemon for like a couple of weeks now. So it's it's good. It's good. Uh, maybe I'm getting a second wind. So thank you guys. See you tomorrow.